What is going on guys? It's me, your host, the one and only Two Toast. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another Stoner Stories video. On this story, it's going to be the time I was at my grandma's house, in my room, smoking some weed, and got busted red-handed. Let's get into it. I genuinely don't remember when this story took place. If I had to guess, I was probably about 15, 15, 16. It was probably about 11, 12 o'clock at night. I believe I had just gotten home from work at the time, working at Chick-fil-A. By the way, if anyone works there, I fucking praise you. Anyways, back to the story. I had a hiding place for my shit at that time, and it was in like this little decoration on my wall that like opened up. I think it was little, what was it? It might've been a little, not a lighthouse, maybe just a little like beach house kind of thing. And it, um, the top of it opened up. And back then I didn't have any like glass pieces to really be smoking out of or anything. So I ended up getting a sweet potato and I don't even like sweet potato whatsoever. It was honestly pretty unpleasant to be smoking out. I had to do some fucking weird chiseling action. I felt like I was chiseling some soap to be able to get fucking everything just perfect on that shit. I specifically remember, I thought that because my door was closed and fucking I had a fan on or some shit that the smell wouldn't travel throughout the fucking house. My grandma had a fucking nose like a fucking bloodhound dog. She could sniff out, like especially when she caught me the very first time smoking weed, which that's gonna be another light, that's gonna be another stoner stories for you guys coming in the near future, hopefully. And she could just sniff out anything, bro. It's like a sixth sense. She had a fucking sixth sense, dog. It was crazy. And I was probably smoking out of the sweet potato, hitting that shit. I was probably about like. I think I was on like my second or third bowl out of my sweet potato when she comes fucking barging through the door. It's like, what's that smell? And I'm just like, um, uh, uh, and I had no choice but to fucking come clean. I, I had the shit in my hand and the lighter. I need to stop cussing so much, dog. It's a really bad habit, but whatever, We're rolling with it. And whenever she came in, caught me red-handed, like, they're, they're, what else am I going to say? I, I was just trying to smoke this sweet potato like what I had nothing to fucking say so I was just like I came clean with her I was like yeah it's weed I remember specifically like a day or two before this story occurred she actually found an empty vodka bottle that I had put in the recycling bin that I had stole from the uh that I would continuously steal from the pantry that she had in the fucking kitchen and it blew my mind at this, even now, it blew, it blows my mind that she was so much more pissed off that I was smoking weed rather than finding a whole ass empty bottle of vodka that I had in a recycling bin when I was like 15, 16 years old. Now, I guess her reasoning for that is purely due to the fact that weed is still illegal where I live. I specifically remember my face whenever she first barged through that door. I was a fucking deer in headlights, man. I was like, I was fucking terrified, dog. I was so fucking paranoid of what was gonna happen. After she fucking got done bitching me out and everything like that, she actually threatened me that like, if she caught me doing it again, she'd like call the cops on me, shit like that, have me arrested for a night or have me have me booked into fucking juvenile jail for a night or some shit like that. I don't feel like it was the biggest deal, but apparently to her it was. I was so sad, man, cuz she took all my shit. She took my lighter, the sweet potato obviously, which was fucking fine. It wasn't even that appealing to smoke out of. It really wasn't. Especially since I don't like sweet potato, but if you do like sweet potato, I bet it'd be pretty pretty fuego for you Because you definitely got enough of the taste there Definitely the only reason I was smoking out of them because I just physically had nothing else in the house There wasn't a regular potato. There wasn't an apple. There wasn't a banana. 
there wasn't anything. Eventually, as time went on, that shit settled down. She got over it. Definitely wasn't my first time getting caught by her or, or my last. That was just one of the more memorable moments of me getting caught smoking. I just remember how genuinely nervous I was in that situation because I just, I had no idea what was gonna happen next. I didn't, I had no clue. And yeah, I mean, in the end it all worked out. Even after all the times, she caught me, pro I think if I, going back in my mind here, like the fucking SpongeBob episode with all the files and everything's burning on fire and shit, I'm trying to remember just how many times I've been caught smoking weed by her. Probably about three or four. I'd say that's a pretty good number. Not once did she call the cops on me, which I am uh, thankful for that. But anyways, guys, yeah, that was the time my grandma caught me smoking out of a sweet potato in my bedroom because I was too fucking stupid to just, I don't know, walk outside the house or something like that or wait till she was fully asleep. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna have these at least 15 videos a month, hopefully more, coming out for you guys. And in July, July there's gonna be a two week period. I'm not positive on those dates. There's gonna be a two week period where I'm gonna have a month's worth of video for you guys in those two weeks so hope you all stay tuned for that until the next one guys this has been your host two toast and till the next one guys i'm gone see ya